So in Chile, uh, day to day, it's significantly different than the U.S. Oftentimes it's really hard because I don't know Spanish. The first 40 days I was here, I was in uh, not the nicest um, living quarters. We, you know, didn't have hot water at all our sinks and um, didn't have air conditioning or heat or, you know, there was dog stuff on the ground. It was a bad part of town. Um, and I'm, I'm sleeping in bed at night. I've got no windows in my room and I'm laying there going, why, you know, why did I leave, you know, my comfortable position to come down here and do this? But, you know, quickly broke out of that and said, what, what am I thinking? You know, this, sometimes this is, you know, the sacrifice you have to make for a short time in order to be able to accomplish something. That's all we have for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so today, tubing or pipelines are installed in short segments. Companies will spend millions of dollars, tons of time installing tubes over 10 meter distances. If that happens over 10 kilometers, my goodness, that's gonna take a long time to install. Trucks are used in order to bring water to communities that don't have a permanent infrastructure system. So trucks go back and forth every single day, and this is in many communities around the world, and nobody has been able to install very long segments to save money and time, and we're able to do this with our newest technology. Toll has developed the first mobile infrastructure. What we mean by a mobile infrastructure is that the pipelines that Toll deploys can be quickly installed, operated, and removed when necessary without leaving any harmful effects on the environment. What we're proposing is a homogeneous pipe pipeline that can be delivered from a variety of different vehicles, a helicopter, a uh, truck. For instance, if there's an earthquake and a community does not have water, we can quickly deploy the system. Other applications are in temporary pipelines for mining, in forest fire relief, and this is a technology that we want to proliferate around the world into many different industries. This is HDPE, high density polyethylene. It's uh, flexible, but it's also durable. We don't want that to happen. See all this slack? This thing's going to be dangling from a helicopter here in a couple days with spooling, with tubing coming off, and it's essentially going to be connected to the ground by that tubing. It'll be the first time a helicopter's flown over a kilometer connected to the ground. <laughs> Can't believe uh, we're going to be doing this here in a couple days. It's pretty exciting. Less than 18 hours, we'll have a test completed. It's taken roughly two years uh, since concept to uh, get to this point. Pilots tomorrow, tomorrow morning. So, of course, you know, we've had a lot of failures, we've had a lot of difficulties. Um, you know, any, anytime you're trying to do something big, you are going to experience those difficulties. We just push through them, we persevere through, and, and <laughs> make it through those challenges. And, and it's, it's basically as simple as that. Sleep for about an hour and then go do our test. It's awesome just to see uh, an individual with such persistence quit his job in the States and come to a country that he has never been to. Travis is a great guy and he actually used to be a missionary. He found out that, that this is a technology that can save lives. He immediately jumped in. I left my job in the States four months ago uh, because this opportunity presented itself down here in Chile. We've been able to accomplish a lot in the last three months without having any background. We've partnered with a helicopter company locally here called Echocopter. I'm pursuing something that is not only a dream and that I feel like is, is a responsibility, but it's something that's going to be successful and, and something that is successful and something that's bigger than, you know, what really even is beyond my dreams, what, what I'm doing right now. Uh, just ironing out some loose ends and tying off some tubes, literally, and we're ready to do the major tests.
Water is a basic necessity and fluid transport is a basic necessity. Now we have a technology that's proven. Uh, we're going and doing some operations. We're looking for funding in order to make it bigger, faster. Toll's technology is very simple, it's, but we can't believe that no one's ever done it before. Honestly, I really don't think people realize how revolutionary mobile infrastructure is. So just think about if we only had landlines, we had no cell phones. Imagine a world without cell phones. Well, right now, all we have is permanent infrastructure. There's no such thing as mobile infrastructure. Toll has developed a mobile infrastructure that can be implemented right now, and we're bringing that to the world.